Hey everybody, it's Joe. Welcome back to the workbench. I'm so glad that you could join me today. So today, what we are doing is I have been given a job. My mini factory occasionally puts design jobs on there and I thought I'd grab one. And this job is actually going to serve triple duty. One, video for you guys. Two, uh, streaming for my mini factory. And three, I'm actually going to use this as a lesson on my tech high and today's course is a thumb extender the idea is you know you got your your iphone or your even big better uh, i got my big old tablet here and you want to be able to use it without you know actually like moving your body so the idea is your thumb can't quite reach all the way around so we need a way to make it so that your thumb can reach further and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my stylus here and I'm going to build an extender for my stylus that just kind of goes around my thumb and goes around the stylus so that I could just go whoop, 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 like that. So it's, it's just an extension onto my thumb that you plug a stylus into. Let's get started, shall we? There we go. Uh, that's that's it. That's that's simply it. Let's let's print it out and test it out and see if it works. All right. Of course, I forgot to record the video of it, but uh, it printed. Actually, it had a huge problem because I didn't use sacrificial towers. Click on my face for the discussion about using sacrificial towers, and it looks terrible. Um, and also, it doesn't uh, fit on my thumb at all. I might try this on my son's thumb, but it, it definitely isn't going to go around this, this second knuckle. And even if it does, it's, it's, there's no real length. But I think, uh, yeah, that part works just fine. So I think what we're going to want to do, I may want to extend it just a little bit and maybe do two loops on it. One on the tip 
and one here to hold it more stable because I'm, I'm envisioning this flipping around. So uh, yeah, here we go. Back to the editing and the drawing board here. So in the time it took me to turn around, I did try this on my son and it kind of fit his first, but it wouldn't go over his knuckle either. Maybe if I took a, a, the heat gun and hit it, I could stretch it out and sand it down, but it really is a terrible print. And I think I do want two of them on there. And I maybe want to make this a little bit longer uh, I found that if you took the pen and shoved it through a little bit more, you could angle your thumb up and reach even higher or angle it down. And so it's kind of interesting to use in that way. But I, def I definitely want to add uh, two, two loops. And this one's got to be way bigger. So let's pull out the old digital calipers. Let's grab this bit. Turn off the solidify. It's, yeah, it's 16 across. Let me see. Digital caliper says my thumb is... Yeah, like 22, 20, what am I reading there? 22 is about right, actually. So take that sucker up to 22. And how thick? Uh, if I turn it this way, it's looking at about 15. So yeah, we'll leave it where 15.6, I don't know. We'll go with it and we'll turn that thickness back on. So that works, but now we got to get it over over the first knuckle and actually I think I might have measured the first knuckle so 21 for here and maybe 23 yeah 23 ish to get it over the first knuckle so we're just gonna duplicate this uh, move it along the X how far ooh ooh good question what's the space here so if I want to put it here and say about there we're looking at about, oh, don't cover it up with your finger, Joe. We're looking at about 26 millimeters. So turn the solidify back on, duplicate and move 26. Now we got it proper. Yeah, that looks good. The problem that was happening was there was a wall that was then being mirrored on the other side. So there were two walls and the subdivision surface modifier was trying to go into those walls. The best thing to do is just to make it so that when you mirror something, the space in between, here let me turn off the mirror modifier for a second, is completely hollow. See, there's a hole in it. And what we had before was, yes, okay, let's turn off the mirror modifier now, is we have a wall here. Let's turn off subdivision surface. See that wall there? That was causing problems. So instead, what we want to do is just get rid of that edge, which gets rid of that wall, ignore the sound of the 3D printer starting, and then the mirror modifier is all happy. See? See? I did teach something today. So that's fantastic. All right, there, there, and we'll be able to... Okay, uh, I think it's time to uh, add another Boolean modifier on here and add the second virtual thumb. And I will print this one again, but this time with a sacrificial tower. 
You might actually not need a sacrificial tower now that it's got the four of them that's going to cause the node. And of course, click on my head for a talk about sacrificial towers. So, uh, you know, like the dingus I am, I forgot to uh, record the video and printing, but it functions. It works. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, it allows me to reach higher and lower than I could before. I don't know what I'm going to call this thing. Something about, you know, torture device is what it looks like. But it does the job. There are a couple of design flaws. I think a shorter arm maybe and angling the pen on it would be a good idea. Although I don't know how that will work for reaching down. And when you reach down, your thumb tends to, uh, tends to pop out of there. So maybe I need to take this piece and move it up. It also doesn't quite allow a 7-inch tablet to be used hands-free because uh, I discovered that when you're holding a phone or tablet and using it with one hand, you kind of rely on this uh, fleshy part of your hand to hold the tablet in place and you don't get that anymore uh, when, you have, uh, uh, when you have to move your thumb so far away to get down and touch things down here. So it's successful and it worked and I thank you guys for joining me on this journey. It was a lot of fun and I hope that you had a good time too. Uh, it was a pleasure having you along. You can download this on My Mini Factory um, and if it doesn't fit your thumb because it was designed for my thumb, that's okay. I, this actually didn't fit my thumb either. I just hit it with a little bit of... Uh, 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 heat gun and bent it into shape and it works just fine after I do that. So, you know, thumbs up for that. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this journey. It's been a lot of fun and thank you very much for coming along. And uh, as usual, Simon is there. Uh, he's been in our video the whole time. He's up there now. Uh, you can always click on him. He's there to remind you to sh uh, like, subscribe, share, and enjoy. And thank you for watching.